it, these are this is very emotional, very difficult situations. I mean, this is about as as high pressure and emotionally charged as a as a situation often gets. Um, there must be uh, quite a, a toll uh, on the people from the airlines who are partnering and responding and empathizing and sharing this experience. Uh, so, and, and you talk about that a bit in the book as well. I do, and, and it's important to note because you know it's it's stressful certainly for the families. I mean, they they in a blink of an eye Absolutely. lost their their loved one. In some cases, a family. But then you also have team members that are plucked from their everyday job. I mean, seriously, get a phone call, says, we need you on a plane in two hours or four hours. Quickly say goodbye to their family, pack their bags, and go. It's actually part of the training where we ask our team members not to volunteer for the program until they've gone home after the class and talk to their families about what could happen when there's an event and how long they would be gone. And they would have limited access to calling home um, because they'd be busy. They wouldn't be able to fly back and forth. Um, because it would be difficult to go from a disaster situation back to the home life and then back to a disaster situation and back. So they could be deployed anywhere from a, a, a few days to, I think, our longest activation. We had team members deployed for almost eight weeks. And then that reacclimation period where they come from this intensive period of, of very high emotions and, and much sorrow and, uh, and then have to come back to their regular job and their regular family and their regular. And, and that's, that's difficult as well. It, you know, it is very much a challenge. Uh, and this doesn't happen too often, what I'm about to share with you, but it does happen. And that, uh, for example, if, you're, if the accident takes place away from an airline's home base and the volunteer's gone for six or seven weeks, then what happens is you know you can have a number of people from one department that are gone and the people that are left behind in that department pick up the slack for those that are gone. Well, after a week or two of the accident you know, occurring, it's left the headlines of the home base because it's not right there. And so people start wondering, well, why are you still gone? Yeah, what and do you do? Been? And, you know, I've been doing all your work while you're gone, and yeah. they don't always come home. The responders didn't always come home to a really nice homecoming. Most did, and most people understood what was going on. There were some instances where people didn't. So, I mean, I mean yeah, we talk about the resilience uh, and we're talking about not only the, the resilience of the families, of the survivors, of those directly impacted, but the resilience of this care team that, that has to go out. You had one of the stories that you know, it was, you, I think you were driving home on Halloween night and sort of getting ready for the trick-or-treaters and your mind is think, thinking about, you know, do I have enough Snickers bars and all, and all of a sudden the phone call comes and you're packing your bags and heading to the airport. So, so when we talk about the, the resilience, uh, uh, we really are talking about the resilience of so many people that are affected in, in surrounding this disaster. And we are. I mean, the ripple effect is huge. I mean, you know, we tend to think of, of the air accident investigation piece, but I don't think everybody ever steps back and look, and look at, you know, 68 people or 300 people that may lose their life but how that expands. Between 9-11 and the 587 accident, there, we averaged about 600 employees between each of those accidents. And between the first one and the second one, we had about 300 that worked both. And, and just said, you know, that's just the nature of an airline employee. You know, they're, they're very prideful about their organization and their company. And they want to go help the passengers and the families and the crew member families in need. And they always step up to do that, regardless of the airline you work for.